Hey guys, it's Brad with Keto Eats, and on today's video, I'm going to show you a super simple recipe that you can make for a substitute for mashed potatoes. I call it cauliflower mashed, and it's only five ingredients. So the first thing I like to do is take my cauliflower and get it washed, get it prepped, and get it ready. All right, guys. Now that I got the cauliflower washed, um, there's a couple different ways. There's a couple different methods you can go over with getting it prepped to get it in the pan. So what I like to do is just the super easy, fast way. Um, and so what I like to do is just take just take my knife and cut it down into small pieces and just throw it straight into the pan, to the pot. I'm throw it straight into the pot. So I'll cut it off into sections like that. Just cut it right down there. You don't have to get too picky. Super easy. And I'm only going about, you know, maybe three quarters of an inch wide. Slice it all like that. And then um, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take my knife and I'll go down sideways on the, big, on the whole head just to break it up into pieces. And then I'll throw it all, throw it all into the pot. All right, so now that I've got the broccoli in the pot, what I like to do is just take, I'll go through and take these and just break them up into a little bit smaller, you know, more of like more florace, more into florace. I don't have to get the stem stock part out. If you see, like I just put it in there um, and it'll all cook down, it'll all eat the same, so it, it just break those down into the big pieces. I like to break the big pieces down, um, just so it cooks a little bit more evenly for me. So the next step's gonna be to just fill the pot with water, um, to get all of the cauliflower fully submerged. So what you'll end up with will be something like this. Cauliflower in a pot filled with water. So we're gonna put that on the stove and we're gonna start. All right, so the cauliflower is in the pot on the stove and you're gonna let that um, come to a boil. Boil that for about eight to 10 minutes. That'll get the cauliflower all nice and tender. So while it's boiling, I wanna go over the nutritional breakdown with you guys and some of the ingredients. So first off, I use a whole head of cauliflower um, and then I use one third cup one third cup of just regular old Kraft Parmesan cheese. And then I use um, one, one tablespoon of granulated garlic. And then I use one half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. And then one half stick of butter. This dish makes about six servings. And in the, in the uh, every, every cauliflower head is different. Everything's gonna be a slightly different batch. So you know, you, you can't get it exact, but basically you get about six servings out of each one. And all this, of those serving breakdown, 134 calories, 10 grams of fat, seven grams of carbs with four grams of fiber. So th only three net carbs and it's five grams of protein. So it's a great side for any dish, super keto friendly. My wife loves it, my kids love it, I love it. We eat it very often. And it is the closest substitute for mashed potatoes that you're ever gonna find. So, so we'll let that boil for eight to 10 minutes. We're gonna pull it off, we're gonna strain it, we're gonna drain it. And I'll show you how I press out some of the water using some paper towel. And then we're gonna put it back in the pan, combine all the ingredients and mash it up. I'll show you how I get the excess of moisture out. So we're gonna take the cauliflower and just dump it straight into the strainer. And that's gonna be really hot because it just obviously was boiling. So that's obviously gonna be really hot. But what we wanna do is take some paper towel and we wanna get that we want to get some of that water out. So the cauliflower is going to hold a lot of water, but we don't want it to be um, excessively moist because of the, it'll make our final product too watery. So what I like to do is take, what I like to do is just take, um, you know, three or four paper towels, fold them up like this, and I'll take those paper towels and I'll put them over the strainer. And then I'll actually use the pot that I just used to boil it, to push down on them a little bit. Not hard. You just want to push down and get some of the water out. Place the pot back in the sink here next to it. Obviously you want to be careful because this is, you know, hot and steaming, so. I'll just take the cauliflower that's strained and dump it back into the pot.
All right, guys, so while that was boiling, I took and combined all my ingredients and I put them in this little cup here. I like to do that, it's just a little bit easier. So the combined ingredients, again, just to go over that with you, one third cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, one half teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, and one half stick of butter. And those are all in this, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my cauliflower and mash it up. So I'll just take the, I'll just take my ingredients that I combine here and pour them right in. And you're gonna want to take a potato masher here. So you're gonna want to take a, you're gonna want to take a masher and mash this stuff up. And then I'll just take my masher and start smushing. All right guys, so what you end up with is this super simple, super delicious, super simple. It looks like mashed potatoes and it takes the place of mashed potatoes. So any meal you wanna make steak and potatoes, you steak in this mashed cauliflower. It's delicious and it's literally amazing. I actually like it better than mashed potatoes. So try out for yourself, super easy. Let me know how you like it, leave me some comments. I'll keep them rolling out, I'll keep them coming. You let me know what you wanna see. Thanks a lot guys.